Okay, so I wanted to get this stupid prediction out of the way because it's a completely worthless fight, and I can't believe that there's this many people actually <laughs> buying into this shit, but hey, you know, do you. Do you, bro. All right? Um, so Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. First of all, it's another circus fight. Just like Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou was a circus fight. Just like every single one of Jake Paul's fights are circus fights. Just like Floyd versus McGregor was a circus fight. The circus is back in town. That's all this is. Um, Francis Ngannou did better than most people, including myself, expected against Tyson Fury. I won't deny that, but what I will say is that I think Tyson Fury did carry him somewhat. Obviously, Tyson Fury didn't prepare at all for that fight. So it was a mixture of Fury not being prepared and Francis Ngannou being a little bit better than we expected. Plus, Fury carried him a few rounds. Basically, this is Anthony Joshua's just, just cleaning up a mess that Tyson Fury created. Um, I have no interest in this fight whatsoever. Neither should you. It's going to be a one-sided fucking beatdown from Anthony Joshua unless he decides to carry him like Tyson Fury decided to carry him. Um, so, uh, uh, unless this fight has some stellar undercard, like if Zhang fights Wilder or there's some great undercard, I'm probably not going to watch this fight. If there's a great undercard on there, I probably will. But to be honest with you, bro, it's like, okay, Jo All right. Think of it like this. Fury and Joshua both fight in Ghana. You got to think of it like this. Say two guys are working at a factory together, right? Warehouse, whatever. And one guy has a fuck up and messes something up or crashes a machine or, you know, something happens, right? Like what happened with Fury and Ngannou. He had a fuck up, right? And it's not a fuck up out of mis out of out of mistake it's a fuck up fuck up out of you being silly out of tyson fury eating too many cheeseburgers and snorting too much powder and drinking too much liquor it wasn't a fuck up because you had actually made a mistake it was a fuck up because you weren't taking your job seriously which was the case with fury and ganu so basically now anthony joshua is getting a good payday for cleaning up a mess that tyson fury created Mind you, I don't like Joshua. I think he's a racist. I didn't like how he behaved after the uh, um, after the uh, second uh, Uzik fight. He was a sore loser and a crybaby, right? But that's all this really is, people, is Anthony Joshua cleaning up a mess that Tyson Fury created at work. <laughs> like I said, if Joshua doesn't carry him, like like Tyson Fury did. I expect it to be a one-sided ass whooping. And I do think Anthony, jo obviously Anthony Joshua is a lot more disciplined and takes his job a lot more seriously than Tyson Fury does. I don't think that's really debatable at this point in time. Who's the better fighter of the two? I'll leave that up for debate. But obviously Joshua is the more disciplined and takes his, takes his work a lot more seriously than Tyson Fury does. That shouldn't really be a mystery to anybody. But I mean, come on, man. Joshua's going to carry this fucker. Or Joshua will probably carry him a couple of rounds and then knock him the fuck out, bro. Francis Ngannou, and I'm sure Francis Ngannou got some tips from training with Mike Tyson and uh, the dude with the dreads at Floyd Mayweather's gym. I can't remember his name, but uh, Dewey Cooper. There we go. I'm sure he learned a few things, but if Joshua takes it seriously, unlike Tyson Fury did and comes in there to fucking put on a knockout and not carry him and take it seriously, Joshua was going to blow him out of there in four rounds, bro. This isn't a, this isn't a fight that anybody should be taking seriously. And I will give Anthony Joshua a little bit of credit here, even though I'm not a crazy about him. He did fight three times last year, right? And he's having a fight early this year in March against a fighter that's 0-1. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, man, this is a worthless piece of shit fight. Shouldn't be taken seriously by anybody. Um, if Joshua doesn't carry him, he blows him out in four or five rounds and knocks Francis and Ganyu spark out, bro. Um, like I said, I have no interest in this fight, neither should you. Um, 
And yeah, <laughs> and yeah, unless there's a great undercard on there, like I say, nobody should be taking this fight seriously, most of all myself. Um, if there's a great undercard, I'll watch. If there's not, I won't. Worthless fight, pointless, meaningless, serves no purpose in the grand scheme of things in the heavyweight division. Like I said, this is basically just Anthony Joshua cleaning up Tyson Fury's mess for being an idiot. All right. Um, so for my official prediction, I'm going with Anthony Joshua KO in the, eh, we'll say KO in the sixth round. What the hell? I think Anthony Joshua will carry him a little, couple of rounds. And he does maybe need to be a little wary because Francis Ngannou does hit hard. Nobody can deny that. But other than that, other than the threat of the power, AJ is going to just annihilate him, bro. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I got AJ in the sixth round, makes an example out of Ty out of uh, Francis and Ganyu, and cleans up Tyson Fury's mess. Meaningless, point pointless, purposeless fight. Uh, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. God bless you all, and have a wonderful day.